busy and emotional day for lawmakers in Frankfurt. Midnight is the deadline for them to pass bills this year. They want to hit Governor Bashir's desk in time for the veto period. One of those bills was Senate Bill 150. The House made last minute changes to it, adding language from a bill dealing with gender affirming health care. WKYT's Grayson Passmore is ironing out the details for us tonight. She is live in Frankfurt with what we know about this bill. That bill, Senate Bill 150, was passed by the Senate tonight after it was amended by the House to add language from House Bill 470. Now, that's language that deals with restricting gender-affirming medical treatments. The passage then led to heated discussions on and off the Senate floor. This is absolute, willful, intentional hate. Hate for a small group of people that are the weakest and the most vulnerable among us. Heated discussion on the Senate floor as the fate of SB 150 with new language lies in the hands of legislators Thursday evening. I find it so hypocritical that people are condemning us for this legislation but can turn the blind eye to 50 years Roe versus Wade that killed 63 million innocent babies. So don't lecture me about caring for children when you will openly support the murder of innocent children. Before the amendment was added, SB 150 would not require teachers to use a student's preferred pronoun and would require parental notification on sexually related matters. The House Education Committee quickly passed SB 150 with changes from House Bill 470 that deal with preventing health care providers from performing surgery on a minor to change his or her sex and with subject matter referred to as the bathroom bill. The uh, standards of care that we currently follow for gender affirming care in Kentucky, which would be made illegal uh, if and when this becomes law, uh, already do the things that they say they want done. And so this bill is not about protecting children. It is culture wars at its most uh, deplorable. Emma Curtis, a trans woman herself, shared her own testimony with legislators and listened as both the House and the Senate passed this bill. We are just people and we deserve the same right to happiness and self-determination as anybody else. The bill does now head to the governor's desk. Live at the Capitol, Grayson Passmore, WKYT. Grayson, thank you. The ACLU released a statement minutes after the Senate passed the Senate Bill 150 saying, quote, legislators cannot erase transgender people from existence, and we will continue to fight for equal rights and equal protection under the law. They also called their vote, quote, a desperate attempt to score political points. Meanwhile, on the other side of the decision, the Family Foundation released a statement tonight. The executive director releasing a statement saying that this is, quote, a big win for Kentucky Kentucky families. He called on Governor Bashir to sign the quote common sense bipartisan and broadly supported bill into law.